Uh, this is uh, quite a mark in history for us. Uh, we've been doing electric vehicles at Ohio State for about 20 years, uh, land speed cars for over 10. Um, this is the first time we've tested on the high speed track here at TRC. Uh, this was a validation run up to 150 miles an hour and we had great response from the vehicle, great performance and the driver is really comfortable with how everything feels so we'll continue to push the limits of TRC. This has been quite a long history with Ohio State. In fact, we're a part of Ohio State. So anything we can do to help uh, leveraging the assets we have, the, the track, the uh, research capabilities, we'd love to be a part of this. And there are two of them because we divide and conquer. We have two inverters, uh, one per motor and then same configuration in the back. Yep. The electric land speed record is 307 miles per hour, which is our record actually, um, and we're, we're starting to challenge that. Under normal circumstances, we can only do testing at about 80 miles an hour um, here in Ohio, so we have to put it all in all the eggs in one basket in Utah. Um, so the, the higher speed we can test and the more we can push the motors, the more confident we can be in the systems going to Utah. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle with equal power at the front and rear. Uh, we're having an issue in the rear that we have to look into, but we, we did not have the rear powertrain enabled at all, so that was all front-wheel drive, so half power. Okay. And actually, uh, Roger tells us he only got to about 80% throttle so uh, that was maybe about 40% power out of the whole vehicle and he was getting to 155 in uh, less than half a mile so we're pretty excited. I'm Ross John Stalin. I'm the electrical team leader for the Venturi Buckeye Bullet Program. We have thousands of sensors throughout the car. Uh, for instance, the batteries have 2,000 individual lithium-ion cells, and the voltage of every single of those cells are monitored to make sure that the driver is safe, to make sure that our equipment is, is functioning as we expect, and that we get the optimum performance out of the car. Being uh, an electrical engineer, I've learned a lot on this team that I would not have picked up necessarily in the classroom. It's one of those experiences where you presented a problem and you're expected to figure out how to solve it, but there aren't textbooks that tell you how to do it. There aren't uh, like solution manuals. But the Buckeye Bolt team is always looking for new team members. It's really a big team effort. faster data than we ever have at TRC for sure. Uh, we, uh, we proved uh, some good stability on the test track, so we're very excited for, uh, for this test and for possible future tests. So thank you everybody at TRC that made that possible for us and uh, appreciate the continual support. Well done, guys. Thank you all for coming out. Make <laughs> like a good pilot. Very, very tall pilot. <laughs> That's right.